what you sound like. I moved away with my parents to Canada when I was two years old from Uzbek. Before that, I think my parents went with my brother to like Israel and Armenia and stuff like that. But then when I, I guess when I got old enough to travel, they dropped everything and moved to Canada. I guess I was raised that here since I was two. Artur went into elementary school and then he entered high school and he started playing more and more and more. They didn't really care about how much Artur spent, but they still gave him warnings like, listen, you're, pay you're playing 10 hours a day, you're playing 10 hours a day. As soon as he reached that celebrity status and got, uh, got a sponsorship and got a team, uh, they really backed off and let him do everything uh, the way he wanted to do. When he started to play Dota, we didn't know that it was gonna go this far, obviously. He stays home a lot, so nowadays he doesn't really come outside a lot. But um, I guess that's what comes with uh, the job, right? Because that's what he has to do. He always has to be online, on the computer, and stuff like that. He had a girlfriend, and he ditched her for Dota. I want him to have a girlfriend, but I understand. He said it is destruction. Um, the time will come. I'd like to think everybody who plays Dota is like introverted in a way. I don't think uh, this game, like, I don't think if you play Dota, you're like, very social. You kind of mold yourself to be when you're older. Starting off, I don't think anybody's that sociable who's played Dota. I remember my mom telling me a story. She was like, um, there were times where my dad wouldn't eat anything just so I would ha that we would have enough money for me to eat something. So like my dad wouldn't would basically starve himself so I would get some food. Um, when I when I was younger, I didn't really understand what my parents did, like the sacrifice f to to be here in Canada. In my parents' vision of me gaming, they never expected me to drop out of high school or even like stop going to school, university, stuff like that. They never thought I was going to reach that point. They thought it was just going to like, I guess they thought that I'd be playing online all the time. They never realized that you could travel across the world, play lands. When Artur said that he was leaving our home to go to another place by himself, my parents didn't really understand what that meant. They thought he was joking. And then all of a sudden he starts packing up his stuff and my parents couldn't believe that this was actually happening. I kind of explained to them that they should not really take what he's doing as an, like an offensive thing that he's doing. He's doing it for himself. I basically told my parents to just trust me and uh, we'll see what happens. They said, fine, fine, we'll let him go this one time and then we'll, we'll see what happens. And pretty sure if he didn't go to that, none of this would have happened. And uh, they knew. Whatever I was gonna do, I put my mind to it. They, they had faith in me. I think he had an ego growing up. I cannot say if it's good or bad. In some circumstances, I think it's very good. Maybe because of that, he's very persistent and uh, stubborn and uh, going forward to his goals. He's just, he's got a lot of drive. He's got a lot of passion. I would say that if he puts his mind on something, he's definitely going to achieve it. And that's what he did. He put his mind on Dota. Before I became a thing in Dota, I guess, I had like two close friends that I would talk to every day. They'd be, be Envy and Bulba. Those are the two guys that helped me like achieve the first thing in Dota. Like Bulba, even though I was competing against them, he always helped me in 1v1s. And, and Eternal Envy was the one who gave me the opportunity to show my skill. So I'm very grateful for that. I don't know where I would be if uh, Bone 7 didn't have a visa. Who knows? But yeah, uh, I'm very grateful that those guys helped me get to where I am today. Uh, when they, when, when uh, I got replaced by Sumail and they won TI, I was like, I smiled actually. You know, I usually never smile when I, when, even when I was like on secret and we won a LAN, I would just sit there emotionless. Even though I beat EG like two grand finals, I wouldn't really care. But then seeing like uh, my old teammates win, like Fear, I think he deserved a TI win for sure. So seeing him win, I would, I would, I'm gonna hold back the jealousy and I was just smiling. But I was jealous obviously, on TI, so. I don't really care about like what people think. I'd say like, just cause I joined a TI winning team, they do worse, it doesn't matter if they do worse or better, I don't really care. Like what others, I, I want to meet my expectations. I want to win a TI. That's all I'm thinking about.